Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today is a, another collab video I'm doing. Um, it's another collab that I'm doing with Rosa Beauty and Fashion. I've done quite a few collabs with her before. And this one here is the Easter uh, collab. It's an Easter collab. And um, as always with her collabs, we have like one playlist. So there'll just be one link that you'll click on down below and it will take you to all the other people in this collab it's going to be fun because it's going to be a mixture you're going to have food you're going to have beauty i believe probably ob obviously fashion and maybe maybe even um decor decorations or decor um, if you like what you see then go ahead and click the subscribe button to them and um you'll be able to see them when they upload their videos so um also, if you came from one of the other videos, welcome. Thank you so much. And I also hope that you enjoy and you decide to join me each week and um, click the subscribe button down below. So I'm doing a look. I usually, that's mainly what I mostly do, but the reason why is because it, it just gives me some fun and pleasure and practice and, you know, just, just have fun. All right, so I did prime my face using the uh, Garnier 5 Second Blur. I already did that. And um, I already primed my eyes using the Wet n Wild Fergie um, Eye Primer. So I used that. And also my Miracle Blur for under my eyes to blur out any lines there or under there. <laughs> Funny enough, I did a collab a while back on limited edition palettes, so I am going to be actually using the set that same palette, um, which was nice because it kind of brought it out for me a couple different times, the Too Faced um, Everything uh, Nice palette. First shade I'm going to use is Turtle Dove. Now going in with Makeup Geek Creme Brulee, working that in the crease area. Next, I'm going to use Makeup Geek Eyeshadow Marlena, Simply Marlena. Okay, come on in. We're going to work that in the crease area. Okay, next I'm going to take this shade here called Totally Fetch. Totally Fetch you can find in the Bonbon bon palette and um, another one of their palettes, the Rebel one. I think it's not no longer available, but if you have it. So if you want to kind of do somewhat of a look like this, pretty, pretty strong color. And if you notice, I'm only doing it on the uh, outer third part. Gonna take a little more creme brulee. Dip in some more totally fetch. We'll go back into the Simply Marlena. Okay. 
Next, I'm going to take Pink Champagne from Mally Beauty. We're going to work that on the <clears throat> inner part right here. Went back into Totally Fetch, if anybody wonders. Kind of just working it in with the other color there. Okay, went into Dove again. Turtle Dove or whatever. Is that what it is? Turtle Dove. And just using it on the below the eyebrow. Okay, I'm gonna do, I have mostly all of my other makeup on. I'm just doing the bottom part of my eyes and I'm doing creme brulee along the bottom. Then I'm going to use Makeup Geek Simply Marlena. Kind of do like the same as I did on the lid. You know what? I'm going to take from Mally's blush palette that I have and that highlight in there. I'm going to put that in my inner tear duck to just kind of buy them. Okay, beauties, so this is my final look. I'm really happy with it. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. My eyeliner kind of got a little wonky on me, but that's all right. It's okay. That's how we learn. Um, I always like to come on here and tell people because for those that are maybe new to me or had come from the other videos, I'm not no professional. I would never even mention or say that I'm a professional uh, makeup artist or any of those kind of things. I'm just somebody um, that likes makeup and to play with it, to learn do my own thing and yeah for me I always believe there's no rules that's my whole thing I I know some people be like you shouldn't do this shouldn't do that I just do my own thing and that's just how I play and how I roll so um anyway you did see some of the stuff that I already put on so I'll go ahead and share real quick with you of the other products that I have on my face just in case some people wanted to know so the brow arch architect or whatever from Tarte you know I think I'd actually have to say this is my favorite brow um, of all uh, for doing my brows for mascara I got a little sample of this Giorgio Armani black uh, ecstasy so I used that also along with, I used the Melly Volumas, Volum Volumizing Mascara, gosh, I can't spit the words out, and the Giorgio Armani uh, Black Ecstasy. It's not bad. Pretty pricey, this thing. It's just, you know, it's okay. I used my Wet n Wild. Um, this one is the uh, Dolce de Leche. Um, wet and wild contouring palette. I used that to do some contouring and some highlighting, but I did also use my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Soleil. Uh, this one is in medium deep, and I did use this to kind of bronze up a little bit, so I had that. Um, for the, my foundation, I actually used my Bourjois Healthy Mix. I did a whole review on this. This is a really good 
foundation guys for the price and just coverage and everything it is a really good foundation i really like it um it does give you a pretty good luminous uh, glow at times but yeah i like it and the healthy mix concealer another this is my favorite concealer of all i'm not gonna lie if you can get the bourgeois healthy mix concealer it is pretty amazing. You have to be quick with it, but it's pretty amazing. I'll put a link to the review. I did a review on that. If you're curious, to set my face, I used my, I haven't used this for a good while. It was the Revlon Nearly Naked uh, setting powder. So when I did my foundation, I used this. I like this one because it doesn't seem to settle too much <clears throat> in my lines or anything. For a blush, I used a Pure Cosmetics blush in Tees. It's the shade called Tease. It's a really pretty pink shade. So my highlight, um, I did use my Prestige. Um, it's it's a, it's in the bronzer family on Prestige site. However, it says Pure Shimmer, and it is more of a highlight. And that is what you see glowing along on my cheek area, like my high point of my cheek. Um, I did show this at my favorite videos, so I can tell you I did see it on the Prestige Prestige site. So if you were wanting to this product, it's like eleven something, which is pretty good for considering it's it's a pretty good highlight, I think. I used this. Oh, I love this stuff too. It's from Mally, and it's her um, Perfect Skin Illuminating Refiner. This is a nice fine powder. This I set. This is what I use to set the whole, the whole thing, and um, I really love this stuff. And I'm hoping, I know you can get it on QVC. I don't know, however, if I've seen it on her site or anywhere else, but I know you can get it on QVC. Oh my goodness, I love this stuff. I did use my little pixie corrector in the inner part, like I had discussed on my. Favorites. I like to, um, if I want to lighten it up there so that you don't have no dark shadows, I use like a peach corrector in the inner part, tear duct, and along the nose in there. So I did use that. For my eyeliners, I'm all over the place, so I apologize. For my eyeliners, I used my, my L'Oreal Lunier Intense Eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner. I have always liked this eyeliner. Um, I used my scandalize the black one the scandalize and i use that in the upper inner and then on the waterline to have my eyes look a little more open because i did do a bold look kind of um i use the nude scandalize eyeliner and then on my lips i used i believe this is is this wisteria from uh color pop it's the wisteria lip liner. I was going to put this lipstick on and I couldn't find it at the moment and I had short of time so but I used Wisteria lip liner and then to fill in I have the Sephora. I forget this is the lilac one. This is their liquid lipsticks. Oh my goodness they're great but that's what I have on my lips that you're seeing right now. Um, it's the liquid lipsticks from Sephora's. But thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Rosa, for asking me to be a part of this collab. I really had fun. I always enjoy being with you guys. And like I said, there will be a link down below on the bottom. And you can go ahead and click on there and just join everybody and see all the videos. And if you see somebody you like, you can subscribe to them, you know, help support them and everything. Also, I apologize if sometimes you see me looking over this way, because now that I have the webcam, sometimes I look over here to make sure I'm showing things correctly or it's showing up. So I, I do apologize if sometimes you guys notice that. I don't mean to do that, like, and I hope it's not annoying. But anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would mean so much to me and I'd appreciate it a lot. And it would also help me out. Um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, um, I would love to have you. You can come and join me each week and I will have some videos up. So go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And as always, beauties, just please remember to 
be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.